Bristol, we're still here and we have got a monster review. One of the city's favorite sons, Uwe Diner. Now, before we crack on with this video, we have got the same sponsor backing down. <laughs> Ladders and Access, an old client, a big friend. If you're watching this now and you ever use access equipment, stairs, scaffold towers, ladders. How did I nearly forget ladders then? Shocking. Get in touch with them. Big knowledge base and we've got an FRC discount code. Use the code FRC10. You get 10% off over the next three weeks. Go and check them out. Let's go and eat, Callum. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, everyone. We have got a co-host, Andy from Ladders and Access. Yeah, hello. All right, how are we doing? How's it going? Now, look, you're the reason we're here today. Where have you brought us and why are we here? So, we're in Bristol. Yeah. And are we, uh, are we diner? <laughs> 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 Almost then. Um, as you know, there's a lot of people that come here, a lot of people wanting you to come here. And uh, we thought we'd try it out, try a few selection and see how we go. Well, you've got the beef burger. Now, I want to say, that looks, can we get a close up of that, please? That looks absolutely incredible. These are, these are famous burgers in Bristol, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they really are. And here's the dirty fries. I'm gonna be upfront and honest. We ordered a small portion, got the cameras out, and they upgraded us, so this is not what we ordered, but doesn't it look good? Look Full good. disclosure, we've paid for all of this, but this was upgraded. Gravy, mozzarella, chicken. I'm excited for that. And now I've got this burger. Start with a the burger. There we go. That's their chicken burger. Do we have to start with a burger, shall we? Yeah, definitely. Maybe get a picture of them together, look. That looks so good. Why have we got the chicken really burger? Good, look at the caramelization on the beef. I think it's bigger than yours as well. Right, yeah. Andy. <laughs> God's sake. What? Little Birdie told me as well that we might have already done a TikTok on this place. And I got a double. A double double, so four patties, and FYI, it looked nothing like that. My chef has definitely gone home, and Andy's definitely got the uh, <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> you look like you got an onion ring, barbecue sauce, pickles underneath. Yeah. It's the barbecue smoke stack. The smoke yeah, stack. Smoked meat. Did you hear that, Andy? Callum actually remembered what we got. <laughs> uh, you got the saucy bird. Oh, he remembers uh, again. There we go. All right, prices, bro. Come on then. Uh, I don't remember the price. <laughs> Right, let's dive in. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. Look at him. It's really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah. You like your food, Andy? Love my food. Yeah. Yeah. You I'll travel around a bit? Food. Yeah, as much as I can. Yeah. Um, we quite a few burgers in Bristol. This is really good. It's kind of a smash patty. Um, the barbecue sauce is really sweet, but not too sweet. Onion rings are really good. A bit of texture onion rings as well. Yeah. Now, my groan of pain there was that the bun is really nice. The four patties I ordered on the TikTok smashed it to bits, and I think, actually, it needed a bit of a delicate attention. Because yours, even with your two patties, you're, you're still holding it together yeah, just about. Yeah, it's not greasy, it's not sloppy. There we go. You just got too many patties, too juicy. Well, this is absolutely delicious. Plenty of cheese, a bit of warmth to it. You all on my face, Callum? Yep, as always. Badly. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go, there you go. There you, I go. Got it. you got some. My man's prepared today. So, um, what's the food scene like in Bristol, Andy? It's I, rocking, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's one of the best places in the country. Um, Got a young, vibrant city, and people care about what they eat, what they drink. So you just get a really good selection. That's why I live here. It's um, yeah, it's a great city for food. Where are you from? Uh, South Wales. Oh, nice, neat. So yeah, a bit more food in here than uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the small towns of Wales. <laughs> what are they eating? Neat roast potatoes and steroids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kebabs, steaks, steroid yeah. wine, bottles of red, red wine. <laughs> I've been out in South Wales. What a place that is. 
Swansea. It's good, isn't it? Swansea, wild place. What's it called? Wine Street. Wine Street, yeah, yeah. I went to uni there. Absolutely loved it. Did you? Absolutely loved it. That's a mental place. Yeah. All right. Chicken burger, absolutely delicious. And do you know what? I, I didn't really rate the bun in the last one, but that came that came into its own. What are you saying about your... Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Good patties, seasoning. You can, you can see that. It's really well seasoned. It's not dry. It's not sloppy. It's kind of... So, do you like your burgers like that? A bit more smashed? Or do no, you like the thicker normally. patties? I've been normally for a thicker patty. Do you? Yeah, you can get a quality of meat through it, you know? You're saying you can taste it a bit more? Yeah. Now, these fries, Callum, look and smell fantastic. You've got that gravy on top. That's a flavour combo. What do you reckon? That's good, the gravy makes it. There's always a risk putting gravy on chips, though, isn't it? Because you're going to lose the crispiness, but there's some chicken as well. It is delicious. I suppose... Go on, I need to dive into that. I suppose anyone from Bristol that loves this place, I know it's a bit of a local legend. What do you, what do you love about it? What, how would you score it? If you were here now. It's called Food Review Club. All right, nice. Oh, do you want to try some? Why not? All you need to do is just score out of 10. Mm-hmm. Oh. I need a bit of cooking, I? I thought, exactly. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so solid seven. Solid seven. There, boys. I don't think he's far wrong there, to be honest. No. Um, what are we going for, bro? What are we, what are we doing? I think that guy who gave a pretty good score. Um, yeah, it's really tasty. The gravy's nice, it comes through, it doesn't uh, swamp it. And your burger? Burger's really good, really good. I, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably recommend it. Seven or an eight. I need to pick one, bro. <laughs> 7.5. Oh, here we go, we met in the middle. Do you know what, Andy? I don't think you're far wrong there, mate, in my opinion. I think the, uh, the price point for me is up there. It's, it's a good product and nice buns, believe it or not. These chips were delicious. Who is it? Is it knocking on the door of the elite? I'm not so sure. It's there or thereabouts, that's, that's certain. Um, it's definitely in a conversation. A big name in the city. And he's got 7.5. I'm going to go a smidge under that, 7.3. But Ooh. I think we're there or thereabouts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There we have it, people. Big shout out to Andy, my co-host from Access and Ladders. Is it a code live, FRC10? Yes. Do you want, but I suppose this, you can now give a little shout out if you want to your business. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, so um, FRC10 will give you 10% off any items you buy. Uh, Laddersandaccess.co.uk. Um, as Matt already said, we do a wide range of uh, access products, staircases, ladders, scaffolding. Uh, yeah. UK-wide? UK-wide. All across the UK. It doesn't get any better than that, people. Thanks for watching. That's been Andy. I've been Matt. But for now, that's a review. See us Big Daddy B, pubs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavours, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?